Anyways, Julian, uh, what was the biggest news uh, over the weekend uh, coming from the NFL uh, that you want to get into? Your favorite player. Wow. Your favorite player. The ga- the player Gabe was talking about all the past two seasons since we started doing this podcast. The guy who he said is going to take the Cleveland Browns to the promised land, dig them out of the dumps. And that is Baker. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is Some Baker lies. Mayfield. Mr. Hulu. Thank you, Baker. This is um yeah. <clears throat> self art that Gabe made for the show. He, he wanted me to okay. <laughs> he wanted me to put this out there. Um, such as you can tell, he didn't have a fan. Panthers shirt, so he had to um, find the next closest Panther blue shirt he has. So uh, yeah, this is yeah. Panther. Yeah, whatever. I couldn't get that 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 right color, but this is close enough. Um, <laughs> obviously, uh, I think we were talking about weeks ago, like Julian. Uh, Baker Mayfield, well, he was kind of up in the air, right? They traded, obviously, the Cleveland Browns trade for Sean Watson. Big trade. And then, you know, he immediately says, uh, I think, was it the day of or the day after? Right before, I don't know, Baker comes on. He's like, oh, thank you, Cleveland. He's like, thank you for other things. He thought he was going to get traded away. And they're like, oh, no, 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 wait. We're not going to do that. We're not going to. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to get rid of you. The Browns want to get rid of you. Hold on. Um, but now it comes out this week that he gets traded to the Carolina Panthers. And, Julia, I just want to get your thoughts on uh, – did you think this was inevitable that he was going to get traded, or uh, and what are you, your thoughts on the the Carolina Panthers going forward? With uh, I mean, know? honestly, I didn't, I didn't think he was going to get traded. Like, I mean, I thought the way they they were like holding their stance because, like, honestly, like the shit. I feel like every week is something new with Deshaun Watson Deshaun, with another yeah. loss, a, another allegation, another lawsuit, and I'm like. I, I understand why they want him, but it's also like kind of fucked up to be like, all right, we're going to get this guy who we're not even sure is going to be able to play. We're going to pay him like a hundred times more than you. <laughs> and, and you know what? We're not going to trade you. We're going to keep you here. And it was like, <clears throat> obviously it was best for Baker to leave. And, um, Baker, I mean, I don't know, man. He's like, there's, he has flashes. Like, he could be great, but then there's moments where it's like, what are you doing? And he just misses people, wide open people. <clears throat> but I think he might be one of those guys that just ends up doing better, getting a fresh start. I mean, Cleveland's a hard place to play, man. It just has a horrible history of just being one of like the teams that just constantly loses. They're a laughing stock of all of sports, not even just football. Like, when you think of a shitty team in American sports, you think of the Cleveland Browns. Like, I mean, they even have a sh- like a shitty team name. Like, <laughs> like, like it, it's not even like a very strong team. Like when you hear, it's like something out they of a, movie. a guy. They have a guy. I understand. They yeah, Mr. Paul Brown. Brown. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I the yeah. the former owner, <laughs> and I understand why they do it. But they just look like a team like that you see in like a a football movie that loses all the time. Like, you know, and I, I always I personally go back and forth with uh, how I feel about Baker Mayfield. Right. We see those flashes. We, you know, we, we love him. We talk good about him. And then we just see these ridiculous stints on and off the field. And we're like, what's going on? Then we also have to think of the situation he got into getting picked by the Browns. It's like, again, like he's expected to be the hero and you know, pull off something unbelievable for that team who's gone nowhere and God knows how many years. And then after Johnny football and all this going on, all this commotion, and I, he really did need a fresh start. So I don't think it's the worst thing he got traded. The only thing that like makes me worry is like, I mean, they're what, like when he was with the Browns the past couple seasons, that team was good, at least on paper. They set him up for success. I mean, they, yeah. they got him players for sure. They Two stud part. running backs, a decent O-line, not the bet, but like a decent O-line. And then you had Odell and uh, Jarvis Landry yeah. in there. Um, and then you had the uh, tight end. I'm drawing a blank on his name. But yeah, yeah I mean, the, huh? yeah, I mean, and then it wasn't a bad, it wasn't a bad team. It was a really solid team. They spent, went out, spent money, but it just didn't, it just didn't work. And like I said, I mean, Carolina right now is desperate. They are desperate. Like they needed to do something. I think the only reason why this trade didn't happen sooner is because Cleveland was on the fence of actually getting rid of him and getting the right compensation for him. Panthers are virtually giving up nothing for him. They're giving up a conditional fifth round pick in 2024. So they don't even have to give out a pick this year. 
and it's a fifth round pick. Granted, it's I believe he's going into his final year, so they would have to determine. I think he has to play well this season to get a contract or continue to sit, be a starter in this league. So it's like, <clears throat> I think the Panthers, they knew they needed to do something. I mean, you did not want to roll out Sam Darnold again. The man who sees ghosts, the ghost hunter. You, you, you do not want to roll him out there again. They needed to do something. I think that team has a lot of issues. You weren't going to re-sign Cam Newton because, I mean, we've talked about that. We beat that to death. Like, the dude's done. Um, but, yeah. Um, apparently, the Seahawks were never interested in him. Those are the two teams he was always linked to, Seahawks and Panthers. But the Panthers now have – might have a quarterback, but Gabe, what do you think? Uh, I think Since it's going to be fun be, because I don't know if you guys looked ahead. This is not my favorite player. It's revisionist history. He's putting, he's souring my name. I'm going to sue you for libel because that's completely <laughs> false. What he said. He's um, my name. I, hey, I still think like, I'll say it before and I'll repeat again. Baker Mayfield, he's not a top player. He's not a top quarterback, but I still think he's a star quarterback. But the fact that he lands on the Carolina Panthers, I think is absolutely perfect because this is a five win team from last year. Um, and I think he's exactly where he needs to be. Like, this is, like, one of the teams that, like, nobody's thinking anything about the Panthers, like, uh, Super Bowl run or whatever. So he's he's perfectly fine where he is. Uh, I think, you know, um, obviously, Sam Darnold is the guy that was there. He got traded from the Jets. Um, and I think, I think it's assumed that Baker Mayfield is going to take the starting job. We don't know. I mean, obviously, we'll see when they roll out the ball. Uh, we'll see week one. But speaking of week one... Guess who the Carolina Panthers play week one? Yes, you know it. September 11th, never forget. It's going to be Carolina Panthers versus Cleveland. So they're at wow. home. The Carolina Panthers will be at home against Cleveland on September 11th. Um, so that's going to be a fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Game. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be a fun one to watch. I mean, that'll be something I, like that's a fun one. Like, I honestly don't care about the results. I just want to see, you know, I want to see, uh, I want to see the spectacle of uh, Baker Mayfield playing at home in Carolina, uh, forever a Panther. Panther All right, listen. Panther. Since since we're on the topic of you know talking about terrible organizations as well, I mean, yo, Julian running it back this year against your uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> Be afraid. Be very afraid. The Broncos, yeah, Broncos yeah. coming right into town again. Into into Lon- London, right? Yeah, London game. That's kind of funny too because uh, Jaguars face the Dolphins in London. So me and Gabe, uh, yep. watching that, and then now it's Jags and uh, Broncos in London. And Broncos, so it's kind of now our two favorite teams. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've been back to the Panthers. Though I was like, the Panthers, man. Like I've been saying it. I think they should just tear that shit down. Like Baker's gonna go there, and I kind of feel bad for him because like that team's not good. They're just not good. But I mean, we'll see. Maybe he reunites something in them, and maybe something will change. But we shall see. 